Prince William reportedly expressed frustration at efforts to make the Duke and Duchess of Sussex feel included in the royal family, according to royal commentator Katie Nichols' new book. During their stint as working members of the royal family, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were reportedly handed a role Prince William very much had his eye on. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were respectively appointed the President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. According to royal expert Katie Nichols' book The New Royals, the decision was made in an effort to include the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as working royals, a move that ultimately frustrated Prince William. Speaking on the Mail's Palace Confidential, host Joe Elvin discussed the fresh revelations within the book. There is an interesting insight on the potential jealousy on William's part over roles for Meghan and Harry. What's that all about? Mail on Sunday editor at large Charlotte Griffiths replied, she gives a bit of an insight into how much fast tracking went on to make Meghan and Harry feel special and in including before the wedding. Including, making them very senior in the Commonwealth Trust. Katie reports that this was a plum role that William quite fancied for himself. Miss Griffiths highlighted particular formal efforts by the royal family to include Prince Harry and Meghan by dishing out new patronage opportunities ahead of their wedding in 2018. She said, I can imagine the frustration William must have been feeling given that they felt so left out. All these special measures were being put in place to make them feel really included and yet they're so resentful that they weren't made to feel welcome. As Katie reports, things were being fast, tracked left, right and center, even things that William had his eye on. In reflection, Miss Griffiths added, then again, in the end, hell end up head of the Commonwealth anyway. The now. Prince of Wales was suggested to have been disappointed in the decision to fast track the Sussexes' involvement in working royal duties. The Queen's Commonwealth Trust was launched in 2018, in honor of the Queen's 92nd birthday, and held the patronage of the late monarch and her grandson Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex was appointed as vice president shortly after the royal wedding. Despite the apparent inclusion efforts by the institution, Prince Harry and Meghan made the decision to step back as working royals just a couple of years after their wedding. In 2020, both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have since retained their senior roles in the Commonwealth Trust, with the organization having released a statement confirming the couple remain in our circle of supporters. In her new book, Katie Nichol has suggested Prince William was especially strained by Prince Harry and Meghan's departure from the royal family as their step back added considerably to his own workload. Her book reads, It was William who felt Harry's departure most acutely because of the immediate repercussions on his own life. Friends of his say one of the reasons he won't forgive Harry is due to the consequence of Meg's it for Kate and their children. The Cambridges now have a significantly increased royal workload while trying to raise their young family.